Okay, where would you like to go? San Francisco and return. Okay, so I want to book a return trip from <coughs> from New York. So we are two adults. Uh, the system with adding adults looks very easy to use and understand. Um, I have, of course, to click somewhere else to close this guest drop-down menu, but it's not a problem. Uh, from New York, so it, right now it says San Francisco, so we'll look for New York. It's down there. Okay, now I have uh, uh, I have several options uh, at New York, um, so I'm choosing uh, uh, instead of JFK or LaGuardia or um, I'll just choose New York City to San Francisco. I wish there was some way easier when I press both from and to, maybe I could just write, put the letter S and it will sort or give me only the cities that start with S like San Francisco or San Diego. So I found San Francisco and now I will search these flights and I'm supposed to have a vacation in September, okay? So I see here a calendar with prices, which is actually very good. It helps me to, if I'm not really, if it's just a vacation, it's not set dates, then I would, uh, it, that will make it easier for me to choose the right, um, the right, uh, if I'm conscient about my budget, that will be a good thing to do. Uh, but let's say I want to go from the 6th, uh, and then I just click the sixth. Uh, when I, I can even choose to return the same day. However, I will spend up to five days. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Let's say four days until Friday the tenth, because the price is best then. September sixth to tenth looks good. It says. Uh, then it go okay. Then it went to another uh, page where I have to uh, choose seats and, and um, first class. So I'm conscious about my flights. So I choose this one. Uh, and then, oh, this is a bit confusing. And this is the return ticket, but I can't find. Oh, I found the flight that was uh, the the price that I've uh, wanted from the beginning, and I see the upper layer with the information. Uh, very nice. That shows me what flights I I booked. Looks good. 3M cabin. And now I'm supposed to uh, buy seats. Um, I go down. Question is, am I allowed to not choose seats? Um, not sure. Express. I chose the express seat. Cause okay, let's say I want this, those two, seventy and seventy seats. Who's going? Um, Continuous guest or um, well, I'm assuming that I will continue as a guest. I will put in my name for seventy. It's actually pretty easy to see what seat is about and how much money everything costs. I will call this one Joe. It says hey there. <laughs> a bit too friendly, maybe. Middle name, I don't have any, but it's optional. And I'll call myself Smith. Born on January 1st, let's say. Now I can be younger than I am. But okay, 1973, and my mail 
uh, joe at gmail.com my phone number in Poland good okay nice name thank you it says also bad format four eight five zero zero one two three four five six good it's good it's very good that I have get the immediate feedback with color uh, mail and an avatar that to me seems a bit too much. Uh, I would wouldn't want that in my when I book optional frequent flyer. I don't have any, so I will go to the next seat. And uh, here will Jane Smith sit. She's also born something like this. Let's say 1980 female. She has her, another avatar, and now I press the complete. Uh, pick Joe's. Okay. Um, on the return now, let's say that I want uh, this time this. Okay, now I understand the concept of avatar and how they come in handy. Because, and then I have to. I get all the information, the ticket, and everything, and it has a very clear um, summary of what I've booked on the side, and now only have to press pay now. Um, I'm at the... Okay. I have to either have a traveler bank or... Visa checkout um, or add a new card. I'm assuming I have a visa actually, so I will go to visa checkout. Uh, and then I see that I come to something that is um, uh, that I don't have. I am new to visa checkout, so I'll cancel it. And add new card instead. Um, so I put in some fake number of a card that I don't have. I'm assuming that I will put in my new my my or my own card then. My name was it was Joe Smith, and the expiration date on the card, let's say March 2018, and continue. Billing address. Okay. Um, Wall Street One, City, New York, let's say, because I'm. And then you have to choose country. Um, it would be nice if you put your city and there's a database behind it that just fills in the country. Then, state of province is also New York. That could also be good to have this automatically done. Zip code. Okay, continue. And now I get to a page with the fair details, then I can also. Add up uh, traveling insurance, which let's say I would like to have, and I have a total. Uh, and then I will. Then don't finalize the purchase. Okay. Um, 